This video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. They have a huge variety of codes up on their website, League Battle Deck codes, the latest booster packs, promo codes, whatever you might need, you can get it here and you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. Also, this uh, video is sponsored by cardmarket.com and this is a European platform that I personally use every day. You can buy cards and sell cards to people all across Europe. Use the affiliate link in the description below and you're gonna be helping me out a ton. Anyhow, let's get this video started. Peace. So we do with Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be playing with none other than Mew to a Mew Tag Team GX. This is a GX that saw a huge amount of play already. It actually won the World Championships in 2019 and uh, that's got uh, yeah, Henry Brandt to thank to that uh, for the Australian people. So we have Mew to a Mew with perfection. You can use any attack of your GXs in the discard pile or on your bench. So the good thing about this is that we have a whole uh, variety of GXs you can use. You can go for jet punches, you can go for bees game. Game Jacks take an additional prize card. You can go for the Darkest Tornado Jacks, discard special energies with the attack of Crushing Punch of Incineroar Jacks. And we're going to be uh, using a Rillaboom engine. So we've seen that Mew to a Mew Tag Team Jacks is so versatile that you can make it work with Frozma, you can make it work with Welder, you can make it work with the Bolton and the Lightning engine. So Mew to a Mew is just good and it will be good uh, until it rotates. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the daily Pokemon TCG content. If you are, be sure to let me know by destroying that like button as it helps out the channel more than you can possibly think. Uh, okay. So we're going to be using Super Growth from Rowlet and Alolan Exeggutor uh, Tag Team Jack so we can get Rillaboom instantly on the field. And then we're going to be uh, going on the offensive with Mew to a Mew. If the Mew to a Mew goes down, we can also in the late game go with a Double V and Revenge Blast. We can set it up in one turn thanks to, of course, the uh, Voltage Beat Energy Acceleration of Rillaboom. If you get damage with Mew to a Mew, you can actually go crazy with Darkest Tornado Jacks and just one hit KO any VMAX in town. You also have a way to get rid of stuff like VMAX, uh, Pokemon actually uh, like Tag Team Jacks, Pokemon with the Sky judgment of Dragonite GX. We have access to Ghost Hala uh, so you can find yourself Capture Energy as well as the Air Balloon to get yourself the Rowlet and Alolan Zagadar instantly as soon as turn one. So having uh, four tackles in here, that's going to be awesome. So four tackles to get uh, your tag teams out of the deck. Very good because Mewtwo's a tag team, Buzzmosa is a tag team and uh, yeah, Rowlet and Alolan Zagadar is a tag team. So very good card in this list. And you also have Mellow Lana to work with and uh, a couple of Marnie to just put the opponent to a low hand size. This list is not running research, so uh, we're gonna see how it goes. We do have four uh, copies of uh, the Cherish Ball, as well as the Danny Jacks in here. There's also one copy of Crobat. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. Mew to Mew is just so good, and uh, today we're gonna be seeing if it uh, is going to be getting some Ws with the Grass Engine and Rillaboom. So Mew to and Mew. Tag Team GX. So uh, as you can see, Mew Mew Grass, Mew Mew Lightning, Mew Mew Welders. There's so many Mew Mew decks and today it's gonna be Grass Mew Mew on the menu. And uh, let's see here. We are up against an opponent, Zero CNO. And I don't know what this person will be playing. There's uh, a cool looking Dragonite coin and uh, this list always wants to go second because we can get the Rillaboom out instantly. So, wow, this engine, like, uh, with this engine, I don't know, we're gonna be able to do it because, yeah, we have Quick Ball. Oh, yeah, we can do it instantly, so it doesn't matter. We can get the Air Balloon, we can get the Rowlet. Uh, the problem is that we do start with Twacky and Rillaboom in the hand, so if either of one of those is prized, we're gonna have a very hard time ahead of us. Okay, instantly going for Quick Ball, getting rid of the Dragonite, and let's see here, we have ourselves the uh, Rowlet and Alolan Exeggutor. Uh, there is a Grookey in there, and uh, the entire line is in there, so I love seeing that for sure, as well as Capture Energy. So, we're gonna go with this first, slapping this down. We're gonna go uh, with Goose Hala, getting ourselves everything. So, we're uh, gonna get rid of a Mellow Alana and a Twacky. Yeah, maybe the Rillaboom because we have Ordinary Rod to work with. Okay, let's our, okay, let's get ourselves Catex Well. Let's get ourselves Air Balloon. Let's get ourselves Capture Energy. So that's what you typically want to do here. So let's get that Capture Energy attached to this fella. Getting ourselves a little cute looking Grookey from the deck. There's also other things in here. This is very important because Incineroar Jax is just busted. We can also shuffle all the energies from the opponent back in the deck. This is also a, a nice win con here. So Air Balloon over here, Retreat Method over there, Chaotic Swell. And we have a, a Marnie to follow up for next turn. So we have Super Growth evolving instantly our little Grookey to the one and only Rillaboom. He probably will go for... Uh, 
maybe like air balloon switch or maybe switch water energy adp energy switch combinations this is probably going to be maybe it could also be like luke metal you don't know you never know we do have a marnie so we can get rid of his entire huge hand i don't know what he will have the good news is we can start attacking instantly with tropical hour gx uh yeah or maybe the calming hurricane to heal ourselves up a little bit we had to get rid of a malolana but we do have Aldegos to get that one back, so that's not the biggest concern. And we also have Air Balloon attached to our Crobat. That means we can go for uh, Melolana while getting back in the active. Okay, instantly going for that Rillaboom here, trying to knock it out. I don't know if we can get it out of the active position. Maybe we just attach here and uh, Voltage Beat onto ourselves. Okay, he gets rid of... Wow! That is two Water-type energies in here. Crazy. Cherish Ball. Okay, we need to get that Rillaboom out of the active position. We also saw that there was one Balsasaurus in there. Yeah, he still have access to the uh, ADP here. Wonder if he finds uh, his last copy of Water type energy. Maybe it's Price. You don't ever know in situations like these. Quick Ball again. Oh, he's playing Milotic. You don't see that very often in ADP list. This is probably to counter the popularity of uh, Centiscorch VMAX. And I wonder if we should like accelerate energies with Rillaboom onto itself so we can get it out of the active position. Like I definitely want to get out of the active position uh, ASAP. Okay, we have a capture energy. Do we use that? Maybe we can accelerate to itself. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We can go for capture energy and then try to get it out of the active position, but he can go for boss's orders anyhow. So I don't know if that is the correct play here. So I'm actually going to go for Marnie. Putting the opponent to a low hand size. Lots of energies and a Cherish Ball, okay. Love seeing that. We can Voltage Beat, like Cherish Ball. See what we have to work with here. Hey, you can also for go for Buzzmosa. How many energies in here? Seven, there's still seven energies left which we can accelerate. We have an Air Balloon as well. Okay. What to do? Will we get the Danny GX up on the board? Yeah, maybe. The Danny GX, then Rillaboom. At one point, we can shuffle all of the energies from the opponent back. Which would be totally awesome. The only way we can get this uh, Rillaboom uh, out of the active is using Air Balloon. Or just attaching here and then hoping we get the Air Balloon. Either way, we can also uh, manually retreat. That could also be like fine. Okay, Buzzmosa. Cherish Ball. Tackle. Okay, we already used a couple of resources here, so let's go with Tackle. Get ourselves into Cal and Melolana. Melolana could have also been a way to retreat our uh, Rillaboom here. Voltage B, two energies. And uh, yeah, I guess we will have to uh, retreat here. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could like attach all the energies to the Rallet and a little Executor here. Let's see here, Cherish Ball. We have Melolana in hand as well. Oh yeah, this could be a nice way. But yeah, let's just retreat to the Mewtwo of all things. Because the Mewtwo can take a hit, we can put this one in the discard pile thanks to Cynthia Catlin, then accelerate energies and go for the crazy GX move to take down the Zacian instantly. Or we can uh, try to accelerate all the energies to the Rowlet and Alolan uh, Alol Executor Tag Team GX while just getting a Jet Punch on this guy. It's also a way we can do this. Okay, he is playing Aurora Energies. Interesting. Oh, also Vitality Band. Didn't attach. Okay, this is interesting. Our Rillaboom is down. Nothing we can do about that. Nothing we can do about that. Okay. What to do now? What to do now? This guy can slap 150. Not enough. Don't have a lot of things to work with here. This Jax move, you may discard any... Uh, nope. Your opponent is now burned, paralyzed, and poisoned. Well, that's interesting. Burned, paralyzed, and poisoned. Does seem like a nice deal to us. Cynthia Catlin. Hmm. 
discarding this one. We get ourselves Melolana back. Big Charm is also nice at one point. Yeah, I think I will go for this strategy. Just uh, try to poison, paralyze, and all that good stuff, and then finish the job later with um, the Vile Plume attack here, 180. Okay, it's the opponent's turn. He's already 80 damage. I don't know if he has a switch card. He already used one switch card, already used the Denny GX, already used Crobat. So if he's stuck, we're gonna be okay. Energy Spinner, he could get himself a Water Energy for his ADP. If he even has one, he's playing Aurora Energies as well, so maybe the ADP won't be doing too much in this matchup. So he actually got rid of our uh, Rillaboom, which is sad. The problem is we had to get rid of uh, an entire line, so we're gonna have to try it out by ourselves without the help of other cards. So no energy acceleration anymore. We do have um, slow attachments. We'll see how that uh, works out for us. Okay, there's a switch card. He does find a switch card. Research, okay, interesting. We do have Mellow Llama as well. Interesting approach. I don't know how many Aurora energies he's playing. There's the Quick Ball, getting rid of the Cherish Ball. We can slap 180 here, maybe getting ourselves another Pokemon set up. Yeah, we don't have energy acceleration by our side, that's like the bad thing. Another Dedenne Jax, as he wants to go on the offensive, right? He wants to go on the offensive. Maybe he leaves his Dedenne Jax where it's at. There's the switch card, getting damage onto us. Ooh, 230 damage, that's crazy. Mm hmm. We can Marnie, Big Charm. Yeah, we're gonna be switching out. Getting rid of this one, getting rid of that one. 120. So Mewtwo with a couple of energies will be able to slap 180. Which is enough to knock him out. Hopefully he doesn't have another boss. He already used two switch cards. Ah, three switch cards. Okay, maybe he's just gonna manually retreat here. You never know. Just going to be attaching here. And call it a day. We have Aldegos, we can Melolana again and then hopefully go from there. Yeah, hopefully. Leave this guy in the active. Yes, no, yes, no. I'm just gonna try it out. I don't think he has his last switch in hand. He does have the Danny Jax. He could slap that down. He could be waiting a turn. We can go for Eldegos. We also have Crobat in here, drawing cards. So maybe we can find our boss's orders. So we can make quick work of the decision. Because right now, we are actually slapping only 70 damage with the Massive Bloom. Either way, next turn, this guy will hopefully go down. Already has lots of energies in here. He still have, has access to three saucers. Maybe the saucers are priced. Maybe his Zations are priced. You don't know. At this point, he needs a switch and an energy card. He already played down three switches. And uh, yeah, ADP is not going to go for alter creation, which is a good thing for us. He gets rid of the... The Dene, interestingly enough. Maybe he's gonna get himself... Mawal, but Mawal will not get the KO on Crobat, which is good. So, either way, he needs two saucers, a Zacian, and an energy, or he needs to find switch and an energy. Maybe he's checking out. Maybe the last switch could be priced. Okay, Zamazenta V. Don't know if that's gonna be causing any havoc anytime soon. There's that Marnie play. So our Malolana is gone, which is bad. But we do have access to Quick Ball, which is able to find Eldegos and Malolana anyhow. Okay, Cherish Ball. And Marnie again. So we can shuffle the deck again, go for Marnie place. Doesn't seem to have energies on the other Pokemon here. Two energies there, four energies there. Attachment onto the ADP still. Okay. Maybe he is gonna go for Alter Creation at one point. Yeah, we only slapped 270 with the Sky Judgment, so scary for sure. Quick Ball. Maybe we can go for the uh, attack here if he has an Aurora Energy. We can slash off that Aurora Energy from the a ADP there. Intrepid Sword. Okay, fine. That doesn't matter because we're gonna Marnie anyhow. 
So without the use of Rillaboom, we're in a very scary scenario. Definitely attaching over here. Cherish Ball. Finding ourselves... Yeah, the cards that we don't need. So I'm actually going to put them on the bottom of the deck. There we go. Maybe another Mewtwo. If this one goes down, we have another one to work with. I don't want to... Yeah, not going to do it. I'm just going to go for Marnie Place. More energies. We have the double though. Setting up the double would be nice. And we have Tackle so we can find Melalana. Melalana, Mewtwo. That's what we need. Actually gonna use another Tackle so we don't draw into this one. Let's go. Retreat. And now we have access to a couple of attacks here. Massive Bloom. Not gonna do the trick though. 130 damage. Also not gonna do the trick. So it's going to have to be maybe Calming Hurricane 150 is going to do the trick and we heal a couple of damage counters. That seems to be like the best play here. Okay, healing off some damage. And we have Melalana for next turn, so we'll see how that goes. Kalex well. And a Quick Ball. Quick Ball can get Eldegos, Eldegos can get back Marnie or whatever. 150. Yeah, we can also go for the attack here. Elegant Soul. That means, yeah, we just need to find some bosses orders right now. So we can take care of the, the two prize Pokemon. You have a good deck. Yo! Well played, we did it. Opponent, we run him out of resources. He just went to went very aggressively after our Rillaboom, the heart and soul of the deck, but uh seemed like we have Melolana and a lot of healing capabilities. We still came out on top, so that's very nice to see. Also, in the opening hand, now that I figured that one out, you don't ever want to see um, a Twacky or a Rillaboom at all. You don't ever want to see that in this deck. Okay. Next opponent for this funky grass Mew Mew deck. I do love the fact you have a lot of options. Like with Mewtwo, you can also like say, oh, I'm in a difficult position. You can uh, get yourself out of that. Uh, go second. Hello. How are you doing? So, we immediately start with this, which is nice. Again, Twacky and Rillaboom in hand. That's like the stuff we don't want. We do have uh, Marnie, though, so that's actually not a bad, bad thing. We still need to find a little Grookey, though. Hopefully, Capture Energy will be the, the thing we get from uh, Marnie or a Quick Ball. We have the Chaotic Swell, so no Training Court Madness. Okay, interesting. Cherish Ball. Yeah, not gonna be doing that Cherish Ball just yet. So, Kadex Well, Cherish Ball, finding herself. What do we need? Yeah, I'm gonna put this Mewtwo on the bottom of the deck that we don't actually need. Maybe we can slap down one of these. You never know. We can Marnie and hopefully find ourselves a Quick Ball or a Capture Energy. Oh, we find a Grookey. That's also good. Love seeing that one. So, this one. We even have an air balloon. We can evolve this one instantly. Maybe strike with this. We accelerating all the energies. I wonder how we should go about this. He could slap a huge amount of damage. Now we can go for the darkest tornado GX. That seems to be like a great deal to us. Air balloon on this guy. Yeah, why not? Why not? Crowbat drawing more cards. That was actually not a bad, not, that was actually not a stupid idea because if Rillaboom is prized, we're actually going to be uh, crying in the corner very quickly. Tackles, actually going to check, figure that out very quickly. Yeah, Rillaboom is still in here, luckily, wow. Definitely should have, don't do that. This one, this one. Alright, let's take those. Tackle again, we have a huge hand now. Mellow loss, this one. Yeah, we got everything. We have everything, and now Super Growth. I love doing that attack. Here's Twacky, and then Rillaboom pops up as well. Awesome to see. We didn't have any energies though, so we're gonna have to find an energy real quick. We have Goose Hollow to find ourselves capture energy, so that's also nice. Training Cord, not gonna happen, not gonna happen, sir. And Amarni, yeah. All of our good cards going to the bottom of the deck. No Goose Hollow. Our boss source was also there. We could have actually uh, targeted down a Snum here. Capture Energy is nice, Quick Ball to Danny Jax, that's also nice. And a Swell again, so our second Swell. 
That means no training cord in action. And hopefully we find a boss's order so we can actually take down this numb before it evolves. You can also uh, reshuffle all the energies that the opponent has, so that's not a big concern right now. If we attach two grass energies, we could slap 180 if we get the Vile Plume in there. We can also Beast Game Jax the Snum. Ooh, love that as well. Beast Gaming away the Snum should be like busted, right? Double in the late game. Yeah, Beast Gaming Snum for two prize cards. Seemed like an ideal. Okay, they just concede. Didn't find anything. We were more consistent. Our Marnie plays and Codex well in combination was awesome. So, next uh, deck that is going to be facing this overpowered Mewtwo Rillaboom deck. As mentioned, you always go second and you're going to have a good time. That's how the deck operates. Dennis Benjamin is the opponent now. We won the coin flip. What do you do? You go second. Awesome like that. Uh, we start off with this. This is a great hand. We have access to uh, our little Grookey, we have our Rillaboom in the active, we have the Swell, we have the Tackle. Ooh, it's a fire deck though, so what do you do against fire decks? Cry in the corner, they can like Welder and blow you up. They can Welder and blow you up, that's super scary. Sense is Scourge, well, if he just attaches there, we are gonna be in for a whole lot of pain. This first. Tackle. We get ourselves Mewtwo, we're getting ourselves Cynthia Catlin. Tackle again, we are getting ourselves Who's Hala. Now we're gonna get ourselves this one. We're gonna quick ball away this one, we're getting ourselves a little Grookey. Ta -ta. Next up, Mewtwo comes down. We're gonna go for, if we use Goose Hala, we only get a big charm and a capture energy. That's what we don't need. I'm actually gonna go for Cynthia Catlin instead. I'm gonna get rid of uh, an energy. Getting ourselves three cards. Ooh, the Danny Jacks for next turn. That's not bad. This one, Air Balloon. Nah, I actually want a big charm on this fella. Maybe an Air Balloon here. Super Growth. Let's go. The Grookey is growing once again. Here comes Twacky. Here comes Rillaboom. And if we get damaged by Sensor Scorch, we can go for the Incineroar Jax if we somehow find it. <laughs> can accelerate more energies to the Mewtwo. Attach of the turn as well. Okay, there's the boss play. Rillaboom going down instantly. Well, we can get him out of the active. We do have access to Air Balloon, so he's just gonna go for Flare Starter. That's not too bad. So this, that, Cherish Ball, and actually want to find Vile Plume not right now, although we could accelerate two energy, so maybe Incineroar is the better play. Yeah, Vile Plume is prized anyhow, so that doesn't matter. It's time for Voltage Beat. True Grass energy is coming down on the Mew 2. We're gonna be retreating this fella. And now it's the Danny Jax time. Okay, we're gonna be uh, slapping so much damage with an Incineroar, it's gonna be crazy. We have Boss's orders as well, so at one point we can also like target this guy if he tries to attack us. We can also get rid of all of his energies with the Tropical Hour Jax at one point. Cherish Ball, we got a Dragonite, very good. So even if things go wrong, we can boss him next turn. Cherish Ball, another Mewtwo. We'll see how it goes. We can boss him right now, this guy is not causing any threats, but I actually want him if he attacks us, we can go crazy anyhow, so let's just go for the uh, Calming Hurricane. Bam! We'll see what this uh, Sun Scorch has to do here. He needs to have Welder with two energies and attach of turn. Then he has five energies attached, which is... Oh, Crobat, drawing a couple of cards. Five energies. Is that enough? Yeah, probably not. That's 240, right? Five energies, 240. So we're good, we are good. We have boss as well, so either way, we can uh, go for the crazy GX move. Okay, there's a the Marnie play. Incineroar is in the discard pile, so if you have damage, you can go for Darkest Tornado GX, or 
we can just recelerate reseller, re more energies. There's Mellow Lama as well, okay. We can go for 190 and then Beast Game. Okay, and is he going to attack us? If he attacks us, he's done for. Okay, GMAX and Deferno, well, he's done for. Why did you have to do that? Now we have access to Darkest Tornado GX and he's done in one shot. So, uh, tackle. These again. Another Mewtwo pops up. So this guy now has access to the Darkest Tornado GX, which is able to destroy this guy instantly. We're gonna go for Voltage Beat, accelerating two more energies here. There we go, getting a big charm for this fella as well. And yeah, the one and only Darkest Tornado GX. Look at that, boom. That attack is insane, 810 damage. What? 810 damage, like have you ever seen anything like it before? Okay, we have that grass energy. So this guy can also attack. Just need to find a boss so we can vile plume the hell out of this guy. Or use the attack on the boss Mosa here using the elegant soul. So I do love the fact you have so much control. So we're up against a, a fire deck and uh, this guy just said, oh, GMAX and Inferno. Didn't even think about Darkness Tornado GX here. And that's why Incineroar GX, GX move is like insane. We are weak against uh, fire though, but this guy cannot like uh, welder and boss in the same turn unless he relies on Lieutenant Surge's strategy, which I don't think he, this guy is going to be doing here. Also now the gate is open, we have access to Crobats, two of them, so the only thing we need is a boss. Okay, Eldegos can get stuff on the discard pile, but there's no boss in the discard pile just yet. They, they, they concede, everybody concedes. Easy. Mew to a Mew Tag Team Jax, just showcasing that it is super duper powerful. Okay, one more, one more, one more battle with this. I'm excited, I'm excited. Mew to a Mew Tag Team Jax, so good, so good. And there's still so many Tag Team Jax in town. Hopefully you guys are enjoying yourself. If you are, be sure to let me know in the comments section. Uh, yeah, by uh, telling me if you are gonna be trying out this Mew to a Mew uh, Rillaboom deck. Mm-hmm. Okay, Tails. We lost the coin flip. Come on, opponent, go first. Go first. Yeah, cool. I would just need to find... Interesting. We have Air Balloon, so that's nice. We have Quick Ball, so we can get a little... Um... I'm actually gonna go for that. The, ch the chance of us drawing into uh, Rillaboom... Um, actually, into a Rowlet and a Lone Executor Tag Team Jax is very high. Ooh. This is going to be Luke Metal. We have Energy Acceleration, not afraid of that. Uh, we do need to slap more damage than ever before, but we have access to the Darkest Tornado GX. So, in our defense, let's just go for Cherish Ball. Yeah, this is not what I wanted to see here. We can actually get accelerate energies instantly and start attacking with Rally and Alorn Exagator GX. 200 damage and then do it again. He can actually boss ourselves. Or do we get the Danny Jax because we have so many tackles? Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Just gonna go with this one. Gonna try and play it cleverly. We do have access to the Dragonite here. So, yeah, there's a little swacky. Cool. This one, this one, this one, this one. I'm actually going to be attacking with the Mewtwo. This guy has a resistance to Psychic, so I don't know. If we somehow can get this attack off, it's probably gonna be better. Resistance is like nothing you wanna be laughing at. Yeah, it can also like super grow with, uh, yeah, super grow with the Mewtwo. That's interesting. Interesting for sure. So attachment over here. We have Mellow Lana anyhow, so let's just go for Super Grove. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. Okay, we have ourselves the Rillaboom set up. Just need to get all the energies here so we can uh, start striking for damage. Don't know if he has is gonna have Tool Scrapper or something. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> crushing hammers <clears throat> You have a good deck you play crushing hammers <laughs> Aegis slash in the house five cards. Come on Marnius. He's probably afraid to Marnius. Okay, attach of turn passing it out We can Yo, oh, this guy slaps 50 damage if only we can get uh, the darkest tornado GX going live probably need to save our Mewtwo now Okay, exactly what I wanted to see here so, we're gonna go for 
Yeah, we can actually heal some damage there with this. I wonder where we... Voltage beat first, two energies. And I'm actually going to be putting them on this guy. We only need to draw into an energy. And then it's the Danny Jacks time. Ta-ta! Ta-ta! Okay, we have the capture energy, we have the big charm. Big charm, swell. Capture energy, doesn't seem to be having anything, so I'm not gonna be doing too much here. Capture energy, getting ourselves double for later, or maybe twacky, so we can slowly evolve. Do, did I have Rillaboom in the discard? Yeah, that doesn't matter anymore. Doesn't matter at all. This one, retreat. Let's go. We can Marnie, but I'm not gonna do it. I am not gonna do it. Here it comes, the Calming Hurricane. Next turn, we can get rid of all of his energies. If he wants to, uh, yeah, he's gonna get rid of all of our energies, but then we can strike again. So we can actually go for his GX move, get rid of all of our energies, but as soon as we get like one energy from the Marnie, he's done for. Okay, Melana. That's annoying. Does he have a switch as well? Does he have a switch as well? Interesting. Two cards in hand, Crushing Hammer. Okay, I don't think he's gonna go for a full Metal Wall GX right now. This guy has 230. We need to get a crazy attack off. And Cinderor GX, let's see here. 10 damage, 50 more for every damage counter on this Pokemon. That's 260. 260 minus 30, yeah. <sighs> he doesn't seem to be having anything, so. Voltage beat, two energies, one here. And uh, we are actually gonna go for a Marnie play. Do we go for a Marnie play? Probably not. Probably not. We can go for Melolana. Also not gonna be doing the trick here. Switching it out. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass it out. We're just gonna set ourselves up until we are able to one-head KO this guy. Don't know if he has anything. He needs a lot of things. He needs to switch. He can switch and get... Yeah, he has an energy. That's about it. Perfect. Okay, we have a, a, a way we can go about this. Voltage beat. One energy. There. We don't want to go too overboard. Don't want to use Marnie as well. So we're just going to go for Calming Hurricane. Bam. 120. You don't want a Marnie in this situation. This deck is not running like the Danny Jacks as well. So the only thing he could have is like Quick Ball. Um, yeah, this guy could be stuck. Like he has another energy he could slash. <laughs> yeah, that's how we do it. Not gonna be using anything. Okay, we have a Twacky. Not gonna be doing anything with that. He is going to be using this GX move right now. Hmm. This GX move is pretty annoying though. We somehow need to get rid of, like we Melolana, use the GX move on this guy and then are, are able to use the attack on that one. So we Melolana, switching around, getting rid of this, getting rid of that. Healing this one, we are gonna save our energies we can Voltage Beat, two more energies. Is that going to be enough though? Voltage Beat, two energies. We, we use the GX move, or maybe we don't use the GX move, wait it out, go for the GX move later. We need more energies in here though. I want to save my GX move. Interesting. I don't want to get this guy stuck in the active, so I'm not going to take anything. Dang it. Retreat. I'm actually going to save my Mewtwo here. I'm just going to go for Calming Hurricane. And he is going to discard all of our energies, but that doesn't matter too much. The Mewtwo is actually going to finish this guy later. Energy, that's nice. We can start attacking again. So there's two more energies left in the deck. He can go for the full Metal Wall GX, we reaccelerate all the energies and we should be good to go from there on out. Doesn't seem to be having a lot of things going for him. We can still finish the job later with a crazy GX move, so we'll see how it goes. Full Metal Wall GX. Yeah, we were expecting that one. Voltage Beat. 
Ta-ta, ta-ta, ta-ta. Search your deck first. Day. I'm actually gonna get rid of these two because we can get it back with Cynthia Catlin anyhow. So let's get Big Charm, Capture Energy in this one. And let's just go, Calming Hurricane. We can go for Tropical Hour Jax later. He could have Melolana, but he needs to discard a lot of cards for that, so 120. Next turn, he's KO'd because we have access to the crazy GX move. Okay, Zacian. Intrepid Sword. Attachment there, and that's about it. He can attack, but that's not gonna get him anywhere. So yeah, he completely bricked out here. We did some funky stuff for sure, but I actually wanted to play it safe. Didn't want to play Marnie's down when we didn't need it. Okay. We are slapping 30 less damage, so that's going to be 120. She may be enough to knock this guy out. So Cynthia Catlin, getting the supporter card back. We're going to get ourselves Melolana. Okay, there's the boss, that's nice. Don't want to be attaching right here, so let's just go for Calming Hurricane. He might just uh, attack us, but then we could go for the crazy GX move from Mewtwo and knock out the Zacian with that. That's gonna be uh, 260 damage, which is ridiculous for sure. Another energy, that's nice. Okay, Zacian against the world. They already used two Crushing Hammers and the full Metal Wall GX. Tool Scrapper, that's not a big issue. So we slap 260 anyhow, unless he has metal goggles, we should be okay. We have the incinerator in here, so that's nice. Okay, notarization. Doesn't seem to be attacking anytime soon, so that's nice. Attachment there. So we mellow on and use the GX move, that's how the game will end. Okay, boss. Well, that is annoying. Intrepid sword. We do have mellow on, so we were actually prepared to do that. All right, let's go. Melolana for the switch. Well played. Here comes the darkest tornado GX you've ever seen. Bam! So that's the deck for you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to let me know by destroying that like button. It helps out the channel more than you would possibly think. Let me know in the comment section down below if you're going to be trying out this insane Mewtwo list. This Mewtwo list actually worked way better than I anticipated. Go check out my sponsors. We have PoTownStore.com. If you're looking for TCGO code cards, maybe you're looking for a Mew Mew code. Maybe you're looking for Eternatus uh, League Battle Deck codes. Uh, not, <laughs> League, uh, League Battle Deck codes for Picaram and ADP. We have Eternatus codes. We have Station codes. We have everything you might need. Trainer Toolkit codes. You can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. Also, uh, I'm going to be giving away a 5 euro coupon code for one lucky person if you are that lucky person be sure to let me know card market is a european platform where you can buy cards and sell cards to people all across europe so if you are a european player you're obligated to check out that website so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to let me know and uh, i'll be uh, seeing you guys in tomorrow's video peace